I continuously will ask, who told you that? And if you can't tell me, then most likely you're the obstacle. And if you're the one who's like, well, I'm telling myself that I don't believe it yet. Okay, then why? Where did you learn that from? What have you seen that has informed you into thinking that you don't deserve to feel this way or that you can't or that it's not possible or you have no right to, right? So I think it's it's really important for, for people to just take the time and the willingness to ask themselves questions, to examine it gently. I'm not talking about sitting down and interrogating ourselves, <laughs> Right. We're not doing like a, you know, an episode of like CSI or something like you were not trying to like scare ourselves. It's a, it's it's a gentle inquiry. And again, I go back to it. I want you to practice. Please, I invite you. I don't want you. I invite you to practice talking to yourself the same way you would talk to the very favorite person that you have that you love. And if you're not willing to tell me that you would truthfully sit there to your child or your very best friend and be like, what the hell is wrong with you? You stupid ass. I can't believe you haven't figured it. Like, if you wouldn't do that, so why are we doing that? Okay. So it's, it's really, that, that's it for me is that when you get into that place is you have to give yourself permission to ask yourself some gentle questions and be okay with what those answers are going to be and then decide what you want to do about the information you find out. 